welcome to the golden show that hopefully never ends here i'm actually speaking on a speaking phone here um, for the time being here this is just the latest update here from a different sort of locational area here and it is the i mean the thursday the 17th of october 2024 I haven't got my USB microphone stuck together, so I'm talking through one of these at the moment, as I say. We've got um, Baldenock, which is Kenny Baldenock, uh, speaking her speech at the moment. We still probably don't know who's actually going to win the Conservative leader race between Kenny Baldenock and Robert Jenrick. So we don't know who's going to be the winner out of those two, as I said, Kenny Baldenock and Robert Jenrick. A lot of people are going for Robert Jenrick and a lot of people are going for Kenny Baldenock. Which one would you think is going to do well? Because, you know, they could have an answer by the time this video goes out everywhere. But, of course, we're still waiting for an answer here to this time here of... 23 minutes past 8 to 20.23 in 24 hour clock mode. Of course, uh, GB News is live at Westminster here, which of course you might be able to see a little bit of it here. Of, of course, the uh, talk, or maybe some questions from the audience. And uh, of course, Chris Hope of GB News is uh, hosting the actual broadcast on GB News. You can see it there, roughly speaking. Oh no, um, not that, but this. You can see a little bit of it here. You can't hear no sound, so of course, yeah. Um, yeah, this is in time. Race to lead. Natural fact, Thursday, the 17th of October. 2024. I thought we were going to know a little bit earlier than this, but it hasn't been the case. And at least 1.45 million people are now watching. Well, I wouldn't say exactly watching figure, but of course, subscribed to GB News on YouTube, which is the main figure here. The more turned to GB News, which is fantastic to hear, you know, because the mainstream media will not course accept your narrative you know um, if they don't like your narrative they won't have you that kind of thing but yeah to say the least um, most people I've spoken to have voted for reform but uh, yeah I don't know anyone or haven't actually spoken to anyone in my area of Suffolk that has voted for Labour but yeah as to those people who have actually because i want to talk about something else now okay before we go on those people who have actually yeah uh, spoken about on the we love Havel uk site regarding the weatherspoons being a lowest rate of number two apparently that's been changed to number five and they've had to domestically improved since that so is the rate or two a bit of a misunderstanding or of course has someone got their wires crossed i don't know but of course there is plenty more to moan about rather than just the weather spoons okay i can't say which weather spoons we're talking about but we all know what one it is in the area of suffolk well some of us do anyway but uh i'm actually in the secret location area right now drinking a cup of tea in one of the Suffolk's where is we <coughs> got a bit of a touch of the zombies but yeah anyway <coughs> oh where's that coming from eh got a little bit of it but not too much but yeah I'm perfectly fine so far um yeah, I've just been staying my distance and keeping out of the way and all that kind of thing. <coughs> and uh, the odd tickling cough here and there. But, uh, yeah, like I say, um, what 
can I say is that we've got more important things to discuss in this world other than, of course, just weatherspoons. Just simply don't go to the place if you don't like it. You know, if you think it's bad rating, that kind of thing. Um, but we do have, uh, for those people who like weatherspoons, a We Love Weatherspoons page just for fun only. So if you're interested in joining that, feel free to do so. <coughs> That's bad. Got my cuffs out of the way. I have to drink a bit of water actually. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but. Ladies and gentlemen, is remind you 
the fascinating information of the Drabbox Rock is. This is the Drabbox Rock in Haver, Suffolk. Here's the information. During the 19th century, Haverhill developed into a significant textile centre known for making Drabbox Rocks for agriculture workers. In 1856, Gertin and Sons built a factory with 32 steam driven power looms. The new factory built expansion and during the 1851 to 1901, Haverhill almost doubled in size to make it a complete Victorian town. Fascinating information about the town of Haverhill. So, yeah, I can't say too much of where I am right now, but of course. Yeah. Now it's time to, of course, find out, of course, between two people and the candidates for the race, the final race for the Conservative leadership. Who's it going to be? Kenny Bolmock or Robert Jenrick? My name is Robert Jenrick on that note. We'll have to wait and see if I'm right on that. I'm only going for what Dan Wilson says, actually, but of course, uh, I should really make my own mind up. But yeah, I think his policies are slightly better, so I think he might have a chance to win. I may be wrong, I may be right, but we have to wait and see how it goes on that one. Okay? Probably won't go until the next day, in actual fact, but until it has breaking news, we can't say, say too much about it. But if there is an answer, Got us down what you think about it, okay? Peace out, God bless, and stay safe.